When valuing a float floating red bond, take note that the value is equals to the value of a straight floater plus the value of an embedded put or what we call an embedded floor as it benefits the investors. So let's say we have the interest rate tree below and let's find the value of a three year annual pay floating rate bond with a coupon of one year LIBOR that is uh, set in arrears and is floored at 5.2%. So that means anything that is below 5.2%, we will push it up back to 52 So let's assume the par value is uh, $100. So first off, you determine the coupon. So with a 4% LIBOR, okay, let's say the coupon at time one will be $4. Okay, and then uh, for 7%, the coupon at time 2 will be $7. And for 5%, the coupon at time 2 will be $5. Okay, then for the coupon at time 2 is 10%. That means the coupon at time 3 will be $10. Okay, so that will be uh, 110 For 8% coupon, that means uh, the coupon will be $8. So that's 108 And for 6%, that will be $6. Okay, now... Check, let's see if any of these coupon is below 520. So of course, uh, $4 is below 520. So let's uh, put that, we we'll exercise the floor. So this will become 520. Okay, and uh, of course there is nothing else that is below five point, uh, of course, $5 is below 520. So that's uh, push back that to 520. Okay, but the rest are above 520. So let's keep it that way. Now we'll discount the cash flows back to time two. So I will take $110 divided by 1.10. So that gives us a value of $100, okay? And then uh, for 108, we discount it back at 8%. So that also gives us 100 par. And then for 106, we discount it back at 6%. So that will also give us 100. Then we discount it back to time one using the 7% rate. So here we have the value at this point will be 0 0.5 times, uh, of course, there's 100 and 100 here. So it will still be 100. And then we add in the coupon of $7. Then we discount at uh, 7%. So the value will be 100. And then for, the, for this 5% rate, we'll do the same thing. So the value is 0 0.5 times uh, 100 here plus 100. Okay, plus uh, the coupon, which is 520. Then we discount that at 5%. So we'll get 100, 100.19. 100 and then lastly, we'll discount it back to pre the previous period at 4%. So the value of the float floating rate here, okay, will be 0 0.5 multiplied by 100 plus 100.19 plus uh, the coupon of 520 then we discount that at 4% so that will give us a value of 101.245 so we can see that uh, the value here will be higher than the value of a straight floater so if you compare that to the value of a straight floater so this is the floating uh, float floater so the value of the straight floater will just be the notional which is $100 so the value of the floor is a difference which is uh, 101.245 minus 100 so that's uh, $1.245